How would you like to spend your days being viewed as an elite talent by your peers and coworkers, figuring out ways to hack into things that were considered to be unhackable, like the movies, but better because you're actually doing research and constantly learning to make yourself better. I'm talking about cybersecurity and there's a place for you in one of the fastest growing career fields in the world. Hi, I'm Keytron Evans and I've directly helped around 10,000 people either get into cybersecurity or further their career through training, practice, and other types of live exercises that I've created. Over the last 15 years of mentoring and field work, I've come across quite a few important learnings from not only my own experiences, but from watching and listening to those I've mentored, many who've gone on to become VPs of security, CISOs, and some that have even started their own successful cybersecurity firms. What I want to do now is share some of those lessons with you. One of the first and most important steps towards moving into the cybersecurity field is to get an idea of what the industry is and to develop an appreciation for just how large it is and how large it's become. It's important to look at the common job roles to give you an idea of what's possible. There is no shortage of variety, but pay close attention to the roles that could be your potential entry point into the industry. You should also look further ahead and get an idea of what your potential dream position is as you progress through your career. If you don't know right away, take some more time until you figure that out and don't rush yourself. After you've picked some areas that seem to interest you, research those roles in detail and find out what the requirements are. Go ask people who are already doing that job, and if you don't know anyone, reach out to someone on LinkedIn or other business social media outlets. Most of us don't mind answering those questions, and in fact, we enjoy answering those questions. Remember, people will give you advice based on their own experiences, and while that's important to hear, don't take it as the only way. I think you will find that those of us who have found a comfortable home in the cybersecurity industry come from many different backgrounds and took many different paths to get there. Sometimes there will be extremely valuable lessons in just listening to people's stories on how they navigated to find their current position. Another option to gain insight is to join some cyber meetups like OWASP, ISSA, ISACA, and others. Try some of the smaller, lesser known ones as well. Cybersecurity groups can be found with a little research on places like meetup.com. I pop into these smaller groups all the time and they're a good source of worthwhile information. All of these groups have virtual meetings and still provide great learning opportunities and great networking. Once you've figured out a few areas that interest you and you've researched the entry requirements, such as education, needed degrees, or required certifications, You'll then want to hone in on a particular role and develop a learning path for how you'll gain the skills needed to perform that job. Do spend a good amount of time mapping this section out and being realistic about what you can accomplish. I would even take the completed plan you've made for yourself and go back and get some feedback from industry veterans that you've previously spoken with. Take the appropriate amount of time to execute your learning plan and then you'll be ready to move on to the next phase. Hopefully with enough persistence and a little luck, you'll start receiving calls for interviews. The interview process is always going to be an eye-opening experience. After your first interview, don't be too upset if it does not go well. Remember, the interview is only half you. The other half is the interview. I've recently went on a bunch of undercover interviews, and let me just say that I've been surprised by some of the hiring managers and cybersecurity leads conducting some of these conversations. I've seen interviewers clearly more interested in proving that they know a lot instead of trying to ascertain what the candidate actually knows or how well the candidate will fit into the company culture. I've also seen interviewers who just appear to be extremely nervous to be even conducting an interview. Either way, you need to take responsibility if you go into an interview not prepared, but also don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't go well. Remember, there are plenty of positions available in this field if you go about it the right way.